got a lot of stuff to do today that I really don't want to do. So while I'm doing my chores, we've got a couple of Cornish game hens and we're still rationing the cost sauce. Every time I use it, I'm a little sad because I know I'm not going to have it much longer. We're going to marinate these game hens in a little bit of cost sauce. And I've got an idea what I'm going to season them with, but I'm not 100% sure yet. See how I feel when the moment hits. We're going to throw these on the rotisserie. Get that next grill fired up. We'll be back. Cornish game heads have been scalded with some boiling water. Put them in a gallon baggie, a little bit of cost sauce. We're going to marinate these for about six hours. So I'm going to get busy with all the things I really don't want to do today. But I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be next level good. Cornish game hens have been marinating in the cost sauce. Wow, almost seven hours now, a little over actually. So we're going to season these up. If you haven't tried this smoked apple butter rub from Far Out Foods, I did a little taste test with the cost sauce. When you read what's in this, it's got apple powder, cayenne pepper, coconut palm sugar. It just, everything about it just says it's going to be good. So we're going to season these up, get them on the rotisserie. We encountered a bit of an issue with the next grill. That never happens. So we're keeping our fingers crossed. We'll get these on here in just a minute. All right, we've been about just short of an hour and a half. We had a little trouble with the next grill when I fired it up. The burners, one would light, and when you tried to light the others, it would go out. So I don't know if I've got something clogging the flues, regulator problem. But fortunately, I was only going to use the infrared throughout this cook. Keeps it right about 300 degrees with that on. I just took a temperature reading. We are at a solid 165. You can't see it, but there is a red potato on that spit to fill the cavities so that those will sit nicely. That potato was nuked for about three minutes before I put it on there. Had to make sure that that potato got to 165 degrees because it did touch the spit where the raw chicken had been. Everything looks good. We have a little water and some seasoning in the pan just to keep everything moist. Boy, that infrared really puts a nice crispiness to this skin. So we'll have this on the plate in just a second. We are on the plate. Boy, that red potato turned out great. Took that up to a solid 165. Cornish game hen with cost sauce and far out food smoked apple butter rub. Peas and carrots. Ice cold Heineken. Great Monday night dinner, guys. The flavor of this is amazing.